With one of the most divisive elections coming to an end, yes, Saturday did. Night Live brought Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton together. I'm sorry, Kate. I just hate yelling all this stuff at you like this. Their onstage counterparts, Alec Baldwin and Kate McKinnon, breaking the so-called fourth wall. This whole election has been so mean. <laughs> Running off to Times Square in a show of unity. <laughs> Capping the end of a tense campaign season that saw Baldwin's Trump and McKinnon's Clinton <laughs> insulting their way to the White House. He is a bully. Shut up. He started the birther movement. You did. For months, the SNL cast has put their satirical spin on a campaign that's veered toward the gutter. Welcome to the second and worst ever presidential debate. All while poking fun at the candidates. I'm better than ever. Let's do this. I'd like to begin tonight by attempting a casual lean. Portraying the Democratic nominee at times as robotic. Got it. But it's Alec Baldwin's like Donald this. Trump that has garnered the most attention. Are you not entertained? Needling the candidate after the now famous Access Hollywood tape. I deeply apologize. Are you trying to say apologize? No, I would never do that. What I am doing is. Apologizing. And playing up Trump's body language after cameras made it look like the billionaire was looming right behind Clinton during the second debate. Number two, <laughs> women can't be charged more than men for health insurance, okay? And number four, <laughs> you don't really want to watch, but hey, you've come this far. Even bringing in Tom Hanks to question Trump over his assertion that the media is out to get him. And all of the newscasters are making me look so bad. And how are we doing that? By taking all of the things I say and all of the things I do and putting them on TV. <laughs> but the real Trump is unimpressed, tweeting that Baldwin's impression stinks. But Clinton didn't come out unscathed. McKinnon I mean, repeatedly ducking questions about the email like controversy. The Let's get to what's obviously the big story of the week. Please be as Texas, please be as Texas, please be as Texas. Secretary Clinton's emails. Okay. <laughs> week Frank, after on. week. So you're just never going to answer a question about your email. No, but it was uh, very cute to watch you try. <laughs> now, with one of the most heated campaigns ever wrapping up, the comedians are getting serious. None of this will have mattered if you don't vote. And we can't tell you who to vote for, but on Tuesday, we all get a chance to choose what kind of country we want to live in. And, and live from, from New York, York it's Saturday night. night! And this election season has been very good to SNL, seeing its best ratings in nearly eight years, and the audience for its premiere alone was 29% higher than last year. But there was something about seeing them, Kate McKinnon and Alec Baldwin, out on the streets yeah. of New York yeah. that was actually very moving. I thought when I watched I it, know. it you taps feel into something real. Like, you wish that everyone could just hug yeah. it out after it, this. Yeah. Maybe and I that wish you could get from 30 Rock to Times Square that quickly <laughs> exactly. on a normal day. All right, Hoda, thank you very much.